In 1908, John Hustle was commissioned by the Great Northern Railway to produce a poster, which a, a picture which would go with the, the, the line, Skegness is so bracing, to promote the Lincolnshire Seaside Resort, which at the time was fairly undeveloped. And the result is, is this. This poster actually dates from 1923, uh, because the Jolly Fisherman, as he became known, was so popular that he was reprised several times, both by Hustle and then by subsequent artists, right up until the 1960s. And actually, the figure of Jolly is still used today to promote Skegness. Um, I'm sure Hustle would never have realised it at the time, but this really did become his sort of most totemic um, image. And if nobody's ever heard of John Hustle, all you have to say is, Skegness is so racing. And they go, ah, oh, yes, of course. Um, and the household kind of completely accepted the fact that this was his calling card and this was what uh, people would always remember him for. Even when he died, uh, Skegness Council sent a wreath in the shape of the Jolly Fisherman. Um, but I think I should really emphasise that uh, it wasn't the first seaside poster that Hassel produced. Uh, a year before, he had done this beautiful, simple illustration for Morecambe, and then he'd also done an, um, a poster for Blackpool in 1904. And what's really interesting about all three of these seaside posters is actually they could be anywhere. There is no, um, there's no pier. I mean, actually, the pier was added to this poster in 1926, but until then, no pier, no amusements, no landmarks. It really does sum up a very sort of wholesome idea of the seaside, when sometimes these seaside resorts, particularly northern seaside resorts, were suffering from a bit of an image problem with all rowdy day trippers. Um, but Hassel kind of, you know, produced these images which somehow, despite them not being in any way indicative of the places themselves, created these very, very strong visual brands. But Skegness is so bracing has you know, has been, become a timeless image. It's been much uh, parodied and paid homage to by other artists through the year. We're very, uh, we've got uh, Peter Brooks, um, the Times cartoonist, has, uh, it's a great favourite of his, and he has parodied it a number of times. So we have this original Peter Brooks cartoon here showing Jeremy Corbyn in Brighton, it's at Labour Party conference. Um, there were several um, scapeness um, parodies to do with the pandemic and lockdown as well. But the Jolly Fisherman, although this poster, the original poster was created in 1908, the Jolly Fisherman wasn't a new creation for Hustle, and as I said, he recycles characters. So you will find a Jolly Fisherman in a postcard here, which is earlier than this poster. Also, from the 1902 book, Round the World ABC, you've got a dancing fisherman under plea for Penzance. And even in the book, uh, which we haven't got here in the exhibition, called Our Diary, Teddy and Me, the children at one point, one of the illustrations, are in a boat with a, a John Fisherman, very similar to him. So I think, you know, Hassel obviously managed to refine that character to a point where he became a classic image, and it's probably one of the most famous advertising images of all time. And we are delighted to have the original poster here. Um, if you want to see the original artwork, in Skegness they received lottery funding to restore the original artwork and it is on display in Skegness in, I think, the Winter Gardens Pavilion.